Hey everybody, reporter Chocolate Frogs here from BZ Power with another set review. Today we have a Hero Factory Invasion from Below set, number 44027, the Breeze Flea Machine. This one uh, is donated by LEGO and is actually signed by some of the set designers, if you can see that. Uh, so it's fantastic, and a big thank you to LEGO for sending us some of these. It's going to be really special to have that extra little personal touch of the signature on them, knowing they're recommending these sets for us. Uh, so it probably has about 80 pieces or so, and probably costs about $15 in America. Uh, nothing, none of those noted on this bag here, but the American bags will probably have that. Uh, you can see the full review on BZ Power, and so check that out. Here on the bag we have a lot of nice details for the set, the front showing some action, the uh, Breeze and her flea machine fighting off the bad guys, and on the back we see how it sort of fits together here and there, put some of the pieces in their place, and you have the big claw on it, and other features, which we'll definitely see when we build the set in just a moment. For now, let's open it up and see what's special inside it. Okay, so among all the pieces that you get, some new ones, some repeat cool pieces. Uh, the ones that stand out, let's see, start off with these egg pieces. These form the little egg seed shell thing that the spiders pop out of. We have some cool armor, uh, like this bulky thing in lime green. Uh, a couple of these pieces, of course, in the gunmetal gray. Uh, some triangle pieces, whatever you want to call those. The, of course, the spider being here in orange and blue. Uh, trans blue thing, that's always cool. Uh, one of these joint limb extenders. Let's see, of course, uh, Breeze has her armor, her cool helmet, always looks nice. Here it is. Uh, the limbs, of course. There we go. The new gun, as seen in the uh, LEGO movie sets, that will have shoot the stud out of it. And then another uh, trans blue Hero Factory tile. So you can give commands to their bot. Oh, and then you get some rope. So, that's all the cool pieces. And let's see what this thing looks like built. Alright, and here is the Breeze Flea Machine. And we see... It's got three legs, a little cockpit for Breeze, and then a claw grabber right there. Uh, the little spider bug thing, uh, and it's egg cocoon thing as well. And that can actually fit right in there quite nicely. And so, you know, Breeze is coming along and stumbles upon the eggs and like, oh no, we can't have that. So this fires out and latches right on, and then you can reel in the claw and take it back to home base for sampling. So that's a really nifty play feature. Let's see, just reel it all back in. What's also cool is this should stay right, stay open, it should sort of blossom and stay right there. Yep. Uh, of course, being rubber, it doesn't always stick to that. That's what should happen. So I can... A couple different features for that. The machine itself is pretty cool. Again, it's three legs. Very well armored, especially with the big bulky stuff there. Um, hmm, you got that. Zipline thing. Some flick fire missiles here and then Breeze in the cockpit. The Hero Factory, Trans Blue Hero Factory little arm thing isn't on her arm this time, although you can, of course, put it on her arm. 
Uh, so she's green, of course, with one of those new guns that just fires. Let's see. All in all, looking pretty nifty. This thing is pretty well built. It's going to be very sturdy. Uh, has a nice design underneath to keep everything straight. Uh, and of course the claw has a very nice line, long line. Uh, and then you can just, of course, reel that back in. So play features on this thing are pretty plentiful uh, compared to some more recent construction sets I've seen. Uh, the cockpit, the egg, claws, uh, putting breeze in the machine, all of that. These, uh, so, overall, pretty great. It's well armored, it's got play features, this new egg thing is really neat. Um, kind of disappointed that it's three-legged instead of four-legged, simply because you'd get more pieces that way. You get four of these lime green armor pieces instead of three. Um, might be easier to walk around with that, but three legs isn't that bad. Um, it's really neat how it has the retractable claw feature with the spinner there. Uh, it's always good to have some more string in your collection. Uh, overall, it's a really nifty set. It's going to be great for playing with the Hero Factory stuff. It's going to uh, look really cool on the shelf there. Everything the green stands out um, really well. You get one more of those gun things as seen in the LEGO Movie sets. Uh, so overall, great set. Uh, other than that, uh, please subscribe to our channel for more videos. Please visit BZ Power for more LEGO news and more set reviews of all varieties. Let's see, and see the full review on BZ Power too. That'll be up. Uh, so, thanks for watching. This is Reporter Chocolate Frog signing off.